La nación peruano es uno de los mejores de América Latina. Sin embargo, debido al escándalo conocido como vacuna Gate, a la fecha el segundo lote de vacunas no ha sido empleado. Los involucrados en este escándalo tienen que sentir todo el peso de la justicia por los crímenes que han cometido en contra de nuestro país. Hoy hay que acelerar el plan de vacunación. Medidas extremas como la cuarentena impiden a millones de peruanos trabajar para ganarse el sustento para sus familias. Los más pobres tienen que elegir entre el riesgo de contraer el COVID o pasar hambre. Esto es inaceptable. Las ayudas económicas tardan en llegar. Por eso proponemos el Bono Perú, una ayuda de 800 soles mensuales por un año para los más vulnerables afectados por la pandemia y el desempleo. Un bono que llegará directamente al bolsillo de las familias más pobres y reforzará su capacidad para adquirir alimentos y medicinas. Hoy en el Perú hay un déficit de 110 toneladas de de oxígeno por día. Vamos a unir esfuerzos para solucionar este grave problema. Las Fuerzas Armadas, como ya lo he señalado, están en capacidad de adquirir e instalar plantas de oxígeno y contribuir a... Olanta Moiz Humala Tasso, born 27 June 1962, is a Peruvian politician and former military officer who served as president of Peru from 2011 to 2016. Originally a socialist and left-wing nationalist, he is considered to have shifted towards neoliberalism and the political center during his presidency. Born to a prominent political family affiliated with ethno cassacist movement, Kumara is the son of famed labor lawyer Isaac Kumara. Kumara entered the Peruvian army in 1981, eventually achieving the rank of lieutenant colonel. During his time in the military, he fought in the internal conflict against left-wing terrorist group Shining Path, as well as in the Senepa war with neighboring Ecuador. In October 2000, Humara attempted an unsuccessful coup d'etat against President Alberto Fujimori during the dying days of his regime. Eventually, the Congress of the Republic of Peru granted him amnesty and Humara was allowed to return to military duty. In 2005, Humara entered electoral politics, founding the Peruvian Nationalist Party, PMP, in order to run in the 2006 Peruvian general election. Having received first place in the first round, he faced former center-left president and Peruvian Aprista Party nominee Alan Garcia. In the second round, ultimately losing by a narrow margin. His campaign received widespread international attention in 2006, given the pink tide in Latin America. In the 2011 Peruvian general election, he narrowly defeated Keiko Fujimori in the runoff. To assure large fears of potential radical policies, Humara began his term by choosing centrists for positions in his cabinet. Humara's unpopular presidency was dominated by corruption scandals surrounding him and his politically influential wife, Nadine Heledia. Environmentalists were highly critical of Humara's mining policies and add that he reneged on his campaign promise to rein in mining companies. In 2017, Humara was arrested by Peruvian authorities on corruption charges. Humara attempted a political comeback in 2021 presidential election but only received 1.5% of the vote, finishing in 13th place.
Humara was born in Lima, Peru. His father Isaac Humara, who is a Quechua ethnicity, is a labor lawyer, member of the Communist Party of Peru, Red Fatherland, and ideological leader of the Thnokaselista movement. Olanta's mother is Elena Tasso from an old Italian family established in Peru at the end of the 19th century. He is the brother of Anturo Humara, now serving a 25-year prison sentence for kidnapping 17 police officers for three days and killing four of them in the Andahuelas uprising and whose party Union of Peru was involved in the removal of former President Martin Vichara in 2020 and Professor Ulysses Humara. Humara was born in Peru and attended the French Peruvian school Franco Peruano and later the Colegio Cooperativo La Union established by part of the Peru Peruvian Japanese community. In his military career, Humara was also involved in two major Peruvian conflicts of the past 20 years, the battle against the insurgent organization Shining Path and the 1995 Senepa War with Ecuador. In 1991, with the rank of captain, Humara served in Tingo Maria fighting the remnants of the Shining Path and in 1995, he served in the Senepa War on the border with Ecuador. On 12th June 2006, Carlos Sitoles Caro, Humara's vice presidential running mate and elected congressman for the Union of Peru UPP, stated that a function of the UPP would split off from the party after disagreements with Humara to create what Toles calls a constructive opposition. The split came after Humara called on leftist parties to form an alliance with the UPP to become the principal opposition party in Congress. Humara had met with representatives of the Communist Party of Peru, Red Father, and the New Left Movement. Humara stated that the opposition would work to make sure Gashia complies with his electoral promises and again stated that he would not boycott Gashia's inauguration on 28th July 2006. On 16th August 2006, prosecutors in Peru filed charges against Humara for alleged human rights abuses, including forced disappearance, torture, and murder against Shining Path guerrillas during his service in San Martin. Humara responded by denying the charges and stating that he was a victim of political persecution. He said the charges were orchestrated by the Alan Garcia administration to neutralize any alternative to his power. Humara ran again in the Peruvian general election on 10th April 2011 with Malson Espinoza, his candidate for vice president, and Omar Hade, a second vice president. For these elections, he formed the electoral alliance Ghana Peru around the already existing Peruvian Nationalist Party. Later, he signed a political agreement with several left wing parties, such as the Peruvian Communist Party, the Socialist Party, the Revolutionary Socialist. Party, the Socialist Voice Political Movement, and an important sector of the Lima for all political movement. Humara was in first place in the first round held on 10 April, obtaining 31.72% of the total valid votes. Because he did not manage to exceed 50% of the valid votes, he went on to a second round with candidate Keiko Fujimori, which took place on 5th June. On 9 
17th May at National University of San Marcos and we the support of many aura going into the 5th June runoff election he was polling in a statistical tie with opponent Keiko Fujimori he was elected the 1994th president of Peru with 51.5% of the vote Three days after his election, Humara undertook a Latin American tour to meet with the heads of state of Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, the United States, Venezuela, Mexico, and Cuba. After the news of the election of Oranta as president, the Lima Stock Exchange experienced its largest drop, though it later stabilized following the announcement of Humara's cabinet appointees, who were judged to be moderate and in line with continuity.